Bangladesh, the country of world famous muslin fabric and the great Royal Bengal Tiger, lies on the northern coast of Bay of Bengal and is surrounded by India with a small common border with Myanmar in the southeast. The country is low lying riverine land traversed by the many branches and tributaries of the Ganges and Brahmaputra rivers. The nation became independent in 1971. Today, after 36 years, much work still remains to be done in this promise-filled country fraught with global uncertainties. However, with a population of about 140 million and an annual GDP growth of over 6%, the unlimited possibilities of the country is evident in Goldman Sachs' report that declares Bangladesh as one of the 11 countries with greatest potential for economic success. One of our greatest assets is our manpower and their willingness to work hard. And our strong private sector, along with contributions of various trade bodies, trade associations and business chambers, has the capability to meet all challenges and lead the country towards the Millennium Goals. The Dhaka Chamber of Commerce and Industry, DCCI, is the prime chamber of the country, established in 1959 as the first point of business contact, operating as a non-profit service-oriented organization to provide business support services to the business community. DCCI is a dynamic trade promotion organization having over 4,000 members, most of them being small and medium enterprises. DCCI, the largest private sector representative body in the country, offers services in three main ways to small and medium sized enterprises. The Chamber represents its members at the highest level of the government to put forward suggestions and recommendations on behalf of them to be included in the government policy matters related to the business development and necessary reforms. DCCI today has representation in 70 government, semi-government and autonomous bodies. DCCI holds regular meetings with various ministries, government agencies, foreign delegations and investors. It also maintains close contacts with important chambers international organizations, development partners, different projects, donors, business support providers and related organizations. DCCI has a full-fledged secretariat with efficient departments handling administration, finance, public relations, research, business information and library, training and business development center. The research cell acts as a think tank and formulates and disseminates the Chamber ideas on trade and economic issues. The Chamber has a well-equipped library with reference books, commercial directories, government reports, parliamentary publications, business journals, bulletins, international tenders, foreign magazines, newspapers with reading room facilities and internet access. The Chamber provides services to its members through business information, training courses, seminars and publications, etc. DCCI publishes a large number of weekly, fortnightly, monthly and annual publications like Tax Guide, Membership Directory, Business Directory, Business Guide, Annual Report and Brochures, etc. Since 1999, under its DCCI CIPE project, DCCI has prepared research-based 38 policy papers on different trade-related issues and submitted them to the government for appropriate policy formation for creating a private sector-friendly investment climate in the country. Apart from trade and economic activities, Dhaka Chamber undertakes several social welfare programs throughout the year as part of its CSR mandate. DCCI is funding and maintaining a ward 
entitled DCCI Ward at Firozabari Pungu Shishu Hospital, where disabled children are treated free of charge. The DCCI Relief and Social Welfare Fund offers relief in cash and kind to victims of floods, cyclone and other natural calamities. DCCI launched a concept paper on Vision 2021 with an objective of achieving per capita income of at least 1,000 US dollars in all districts of Bangladesh by the year 2021. The concept has been accepted by the government and a high-power national committee has been formed to work on it. DCCI received World Chamber Competition Award 2007 in the Best Skill Development category by World Chamber Federation on 6th July 2007 at Istanbul, Turkey. DCCI achieved CIPE Annual Photo Contest Award in 2004. DCCI has established a business institute which provides need-based training to entrepreneurs and business executives. DBI offers training courses, diploma and certificate courses on international purchasing and supply chain management. In 2006, DCCI won the Certificate of Achievement in the second Local Chamber Awards as finalized by the Confederation of Asia-Pacific Chamber of Commerce and Industry, CACCI. DCCI introduced DCCI Business Award to inspire and support promising entrepreneurs for sustainable development and to encourage women, young and innovative entrepreneurs. It is a prestigious event of the Chamber organized every alternate year. DCCI, together with Islamic University of Chittagong, has been offering EMBA courses. DCCI Knowledge Center, established in cooperation with South Asia Enterprise Development Facility, SCTF, provides internet-based training and services to the SMEs. DCCI puts forward research-based opinions suggestions and recommendations as inputs to the government in the Board of Investment, Export Promotion Bureau and Bangladesh Privatization Board, Export Processing Zone, Ministry of Commerce and Ministry of Finance to help foreign investors in research, networking and overall business promotion. DCCI also lobbies with various ministries for efficient running of the Chittagong and the Mongla ports to expand capacity and improve service levels. A board of 24 directors representing all classes of membership runs the chamber. One third of the directors retire every year. A president, a senior vice president and a vice president are elected by the board for a term of one year. The President is the Chief Executive of the Chamber. The best of Bangladesh is business. It is this promise alone that brings thousands of foreign investors our way and most of the time they are smiling in their success. The fact is, when a country is as rich in resources as Bangladesh, with manpower as efficient as ours, and the implementation of the proper sciences such as the goals, objectives, and the functions of DCCI and investment is sure to flourish and eventually there is no stopping of our economy.